Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and I'm starting this project with the sign that I got at Dollar Tree. And I grabbed some masking tape, and I'm going to tape off all of the edges so that none of the paint gets on the frame of the sign. So I'm just going to take a piece of masking tape and run it along all the edges. I'm just going to leave it sticking up like that. There's no reason to fold it over or anything. Once I have it all taped off, I'm going to paint the inside this beautiful teal color, which is one of my favorite colors. I'm going to make sure I get in all those grooves. And I ended up giving this two coats. Once I had all the paint on, I'm going to peel off the tape and I'm going to let that dry thoroughly. And then I'm going to add some tape on top of the teal to protect the paint from the stain that I'm going to put on the edges. So just add some masking tape and then I'm going to take my applicator and add some of the antique wax around the edges. Then on the inside of the frame, I used a small paintbrush to apply the wax. The applicator was a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna go around the edges. And if you happen to get anything, you know, on the paint or on the stain, you can just touch it up afterwards. So once that was all done, I am going to set that aside to dry, and I'm gonna take 12 of these little wood slices. They're like driftwood slices from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna paint them all white. And this took two coats on each one. Once those are all painted and dried, I'm going to take this little round wood piece that also came from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint that with the color King's Gold. It's like a mustard yellow. And then I'm going to let that dry also. I did two coats on that as well. So once I have all my pieces painted, I'm going to start to arrange them all in a flower shape on my sign. I ended up doing six pieces at the bottom. And those are going to go on the top like that. So now I'm going to just hot glue down my pieces. I'm going to make sure that they're all evenly separated. Now that I have those pieces down, I can start gluing down my top pieces. So I only need glue on the very end. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Next, I'm going to add that final piece, and then I'm going to add my little yellow center. I'm just going to put a bunch of glue on that and make sure that it's sitting on some of the, as we'll call them, petals. And I noticed that there was a little piece that wasn't sitting, so I'm just going to put some glue on there and make sure that that's held down well. And I'm going to set that aside, and I cut this piece of fabric, two pieces of fabric. One is the mustard color that I used for the center, and the other one is just a piece of white fabric. And I'm going to stamp the word bloom onto the white fabric. And then I'm going to take the mustard colored fabric and I am going to Mod Podge that onto the bottom of the sign. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of Mod Podge down and I'm gonna lay the fabric on it. I'm gonna make sure that it's stuck and get all the edges. I'm gonna push my brush under there and make sure that I got all the edges really well and it's stuck really well. Then I'm gonna take the bloom and that's gonna go on top of that. So I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and add that right to the back of that piece of fabric. And then I'm going to lay that onto the mustard fabric. And this is just so, so super cute. I love it. I love daisies. They're one of my favorite flowers. And I love the color teal. So this is just so perfect. Next, I took a piece of tape and put it in between each one of the beads. I actually ended up taking out a few of the beads because I only wanted eight on there. I know you're not supposed to do an even number or whatever the rule is, but I don't follow rules when I craft normally. So I'm going to take and paint each one of the beads individually a different color. So I started with the mustard color that I used on the center, then the white I used for the flower, then the teal I used for the background, and then I did one with the antique wax, and then I repeated the process the other on the other beads. And I used the tape in between as to not get any paint on the other beads. 
and there they are all done and now i have the cutest little beaded hanger and i think this just turned out so super cute like i said it's my favorite color and my favorite flowers and it was easy and mostly dollar tree supplies thank you guys for watching i hope this inspires you to make one and as always don't forget to spread the chaos